Welcome to the channel Grand Colombia, another spectacular day in Armenia, Colombia. I have to tell you, on the videos, I've been doing a countdown of the days inside. And I went back and looked at a calendar, and it's all wrong. I was doing a countdown from the time they inflicted the actual curfew on people. But I actually went into hibernation the week before. So we're up to 37 days as of when I filmed this yesterday. 37 days. I had not left my apartment. I had not gotten in the elevator. I had not gone down the steps. I hadn't opened the door to my apartment. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's real isolation. Thank goodness I've got friends that, uh, we're more than happy to make runs to the store, but they also have home deliveries here. I've been concerned because, wow, if I were perfectly healthy, this whole situation wouldn't really be phasing me that much. I'd probably be aggravated because... But because of all the restrictions... But because of my lung situation, being scarred up and chasing me out of Cuenca, Ecuador. My lungs have a problem. Too many cases of pneumonia, too much spray pain in them. I have to be very careful because this virus is actually problematic for people like me. For some, they can blow it off as a bad case of the flu or just some other minor illness. For me, it could be a death sentence. So, I've been very cautious about it. You know, I'm normally not that careful, but I know what viruses do, and it's still fresh in my mind. Three cases of pneumonia in one year, and I can still remember all the words that the doctor told me at the time, which wasn't that long ago, just a few years ago. And so uh, I'm being very careful. You can see me here in my beautiful mask. <laughs> yeah, very quite the fashion statement. They're um, sort of requiring masks. You'll see in this video most everybody uh, is wearing a mask. Now if you're looking at this video and you're saying, oh look he's trying to be artsy, everything's in slow motion. Well, not really. I hadn't used my little camera, my little pocket camera in a very long time and I forgot about some of the things that I caught on to if you're not very careful about the settings it easily will flip into slow motion or photo or some other setting it's just the way the camera is laid out and it's the screen is so small you don't notice it the screen is it's a, the size of a postage stamp literally the, a postage stamp and I know the word literally is overused it starts to drive me crazy but in this case it's appropriate because it is actually the size of a postage stamp so I didn't know it was in slow motion and this used to happen to me quite a bit and then finally I caught on to it you double triple check and then when you pull it out of your pocket you check again well I hadn't done that and so here we are in slow motion I could speed it up but I also accidentally did not film two other times some specific things I wanted to show you. And so I'm just leaving this like it is. I'm going to roll with it. And um, I don't know. We'll just pretend it's artsy. So over here you see the Olympica and you see the line outside. I showed you this before, but notice the spacing. They only allow so many people into the store. So there's uh, the guy in the red shirt. He's uh, counting as somebody comes out, somebody can go in. That way the store isn't crowded and things are spaced out. They have enough cashiers. So it's, you know, one after another after another different cashiers so that there's only one person in line at a time it's actually pretty efficient and it moves pretty quickly and I saw the same thing in a few other places at the bank when I got to the bank it was uh, 
a guard there that would allow people in only as people were leaving. And I looked into the bank. I needed to go in the bank, but I'll do that tomorrow. So I, I looked in and I could see how many people were there. It was very sparse. So I'm just, uh, why am I out? What, what was this about? Well, here's the thing. I hadn't been out in a long time. And I was actually a little nervous about going out. I didn't know what I was going to see. And I really don't want to get this virus, just like I couldn't stay in Cuenca. I don't, I don't want pneumonia anymore. I don't want to be on death's door again because of my lungs. So I've been a little worried about it. Uh, here's a guy. He's, he's out panhandling without a mask. Nobody's hassling him. I just, uh, let me just keep on moving by this guy. So why was I out? I needed to go to the bank. I hadn't been to the bank in five weeks. I needed to get down there and go to the bank. So, time to go. It's not something I could have my friends do it. I, you know, I have to go out and get this done. Well, I could have given my debit card to somebody and given my pin, but, you know, it's not... I'm not at that point yet. It's not like I was actually sick and needed to do it. And I needed to go to the bank because I had to withdraw funds because I'm to the point where I've put enough money aside that I may be able to buy a very cheap car. Somebody's bringing one by... This is Movistar, they've been closed since March 24th, so I can't pay my internet or my cell phone. So now I'm almost down to the bank, and I was talking about the car. So somebody's coming by tomorrow, pulling down into the garage, the parking, it's in, in, it's in the basement. Actually, there's two basements, one above the other. They're pulling the car down, and I'm going to check it out tomorrow. A little worried about it because it's a, uh, <laughs> a retired taxi. On the other hand, it's newer than all the other low-end cars, and a co supposedly it's had lots of maintenance and replacements done to it, and so um, they've made up for the use and abuse we'll see you know i'll take a look at it i can't afford much i mean i'm really at the very bottom end of the rung and it's funny because last year you could find at any given time you could find cars that are more like around a thousand dollars but in this past last year uh it's actually jumped up to about two thousand dollars is the low end of what you're going to find which is actually a little more typical. I don't know what went on last year, but I was happy to point them out whenever I saw them. I'd say, hey, there's a $1,000 car, because there were a number of them. At any given time, you could look in Facebook or wherever marketplace, and you could find a car that was around $1,000, but you're just not seeing it anymore. But... You can still find them around the $2,000 mark. And this one that I'm looking at is about $1,700. And there's not much in that price range you're going to find that doesn't need a lot of work anyway. But the upside of this is a 2009, and most of the cars in this range are in the 1990s. So it's a 2009, it's a Kia Rio, which is notorious for taxis here because they're they're very durable, very dependable. Unlike the Kias of old, the newer ones, and when you're old like me, uh, there in the background is a, is a Kia. When you're old like me, 2009 is newer. So I figured, what the heck, I'm, you know, it's in my price, price range. It is a newer, very common car. Everybody can work on them, but they're not overly complicated. Let me give it a shot. Also, it's got a real engine. It's a 1.6 that'll actually go up and down hills. We're talking mountains here, where some of the cars in this low end have these little one liter gutless little engines that, you know, it's around town, it's fine, but 
may be problematic going up in the mountains. So, I'm going to give it a shot. He's coming tomorrow, and um, I know about cars, so I know what to look for. I'll spend a little time checking it over. I'm very aware that it's going to need work. It's just a matter of how much work it's going to need, and is it on its last legs or not. If it looks like there's still life left in it, and all I need to do is maybe some brakes or a couple tires or something, then I'll probably go for it because I haven't really found anything in the range of what I got money for. Now, if I want to wait a couple more months, I can open that door up even more. But who knows, if I wait a couple more months, how much money, maybe that savings money goes away for one reason or another. And once it's spent, it's spent, and then you have to figure out other ways to get get through life. So, uh, you know, we'll find out tomorrow if I'm going to take the plunge. Now, notice this line here. While there's spacing, there's not a whole lot of spacing. And um, that surprised me a little bit. But you see, almost everybody with a mask, some people wear a kerchief. And what was this line for? It's actually for the Davi Vienda Bank. And I'm not sure why there were so many people waiting to go into this particular bank. Uh, the bank I went to, the, the line was like one or two people. So you'll see it here once I get past this tree, if I ever get there. Now, at first I thought it was the ATM there. And, uh, oh, oh, and I, I should bring this up. Davi Vienda, I've been told many, many times that if you uh, use the ATM and you do not accept the exchange rate on the screen, then it will still kick out the money and it'll be at the normal rate instead of 200 pesos less. I tried it again yesterday and it actually worked. Before, every time I put no, it just spit my card back out and said, well, thank you, be on your way. This time it actually worked. For the first time it worked for me. So I knew people weren't making up stories because I didn't know people tell me. I just, every time I tried it, it didn't work for me. But yesterday it worked for me. And so I was very happy because I had to go to the Colpatria, draw out the limit there, and then I had to go to Davi Vienda and draw out the rest of it. And I didn't really want to lose money. So I was very happy about that. So that's, you know, that was my big adventure. Now, a lot of businesses are going out of business. This one, Parija, uh, that's the second owner. And it's, it's for rent. It's closed up. We've got some businesses here. Now, in all fairness, uh, the one on the first floor had already gone out. Juan had not been open for a while. 